Hey, what's up you money makers welcome back to my channel in this video i'll be talking about ticker symbol ctrm castor maritime inc the stock is trading at 43 cents this used to be one of our favorite stock we have triple and quadruple our investments in ctrm as well the stock is down 4.34 percent at the moment for one day for five days the stock is down 10 percent for one month the stock is down 58 59 percent so it's a massive deep that we have seen in ctrm it used to trade about a one dollar level and since then it has dropped but for six months the stock is up 167 percent for year to date 125 percent and i just want to see for one year the stock is down 30 percent so we have been seeing a deep into ctrm stock price uh, lately the day range is pretty narrow day range 43 to 45 cents the year range 52 week range for the stock price is 11 cents up to one dollar and 95 cents the company is relatively new it's a shipping company started with dry bulk vessels they're expanding themselves into the tanker vessels as well at this point i want to review one of the big big news that came up for ctrm so we'll talk about that a big announcement from the company we'll also review one of the article that talks about regaining compliance and it also touches upon the reverse split and this ctrm is part of that reverse split analysis that the analyst have has has done so i want to share that information with you if you own ctrm you definitely want to watch this full video if you're trying to get into CTRM, also you want to watch this video before you gain the position in CTRM. And we'll do some technical analysis and price prediction and look into technical indicators as to what RSI looks like, what MACD is looking like, and what the stock has been up to for last few days. And we'll look into the volume as well. So without further delay, let's talk about uh, CTRM's announcement. CTRM announced, here's one of the big news, announced the delivery of Magic uh, Twilight and the Magic uh, thunder and these are two both the vessels that the company has uh, is going to acquire very soon the company a diversified global shipping company announces on april 9th that it took the delivery of magic twilight and which is 2010 uh, 2010 vessel and also another vessel japanese built vessel in uh, built in 2011 all those carriers and they will both acquisition will be uh, will be happening as of this week and on april 13th now if you think about it they are adding the revenue onto their top line the gross charter for this one vessel is nineteen thousand dollars which is expected in the term for 20 days and the other vessel magic thunder it is expected eighteen thousand and ninety dollars uh, expected term of about 60 days so this is going to add more into the top line revenue that castor maritime has and one of the thing about castor maritime is they have to raise more capital because it's a traditionally shipping company they start with dry bulk vessels and they have to raise more capital in order to ramp up the revenue this is not a technology company or anything along the uh, enhancement but that the company can do in the processes into the product that they are selling they'll have to they'll have to uh, improve their the number of or they will have to add more and more vessel to improve the revenue and improve the profitability which is where the challenge is looking at one of this article three ultra popular robin hood stocks that are desperate in need for a reverse split and i was able to see CTRM as one of the company listed on this analysis this is a, th if you remember this is an ultra popular stock and we have been reviewing this stock since uh, since the, since last year in Q4 2020 when the stock used to trade around 25 cents another ultra popular stock in addition to other stocks that we have seen on Reddit and Wall Street bets GME um, and AMC CTRM was also one of the popular stock that got some of the restriction from Robinhood as well well, at the end of the second quarter doesn't if they don't do the reverse split they may lose the the compliance that they're trying to get uh, from Nasdaq they are on the regaining compliance notice from Nasdaq and we haven't heard anything official at least I haven't heard in my research I would like you to do your own due diligence and research as well because I'm not a financial advisor and this is just my research that I'm trying to share with you like share and subscribe to this video if you haven't already your like is very much appreciated if you subscribe to my channel we talk about a lot of penny stocks penny stocks are risky so it's risk versus reward play but i make sure that i share the analysis that i do hoping it will help you make
making informed financial decision. Going back to Castro Maritime, this is uh, this was a bull case for a long time. Rebounding the global economy should see the dry bulk, bulk vessel transports for goods items like uh, uh, grain, steel, cement, sugar, and fertilizers, which is dry bulk. In addition to that, you can also think about coal and wood that can be part of the dry bulk vessel that they are supporting. They have expanded their uh, line of support into the tank vessels as well. Castro Maritime doubled its fleets from 2020. They started from three fleet to six fleet and they doubled up and they have more than 14 fleet at this point, I believe. Maybe 16 fleets. I just lost the count because they have been adding so aggressively. It's really relatively younger shipping company that is attempting to ramp up the vessel's ownership right at the global vaccination campaign kicks in with the pandemic and the situation that is going on uh, with a high energy. It is also certainly wouldn't hurt Castro Maritime like Sundial and some other stocks that are a big hit into the red radic based uh, retail investors. Unfortunately, it has been going down. As you can see, they have been raising more capital. They have diluted their shares from 3.27 million to 707 million. It's not a typo. So you want to make sure that 3.27 million shares that they had up to 707 million shares which is why the company has diluted a lot and which is why they have recently failed to sell another 192.3 million shares into direct offering and they are going to raise more capital in order to buy more and more vessels. Now, if they want to continue trading on Nasdaq and gain this attraction that they have on Nasdaq, they'll have to reverse split to trade about $1 level and which is why this article says this is ultra popular Robinhood stock that is desperate in need for reverse split. Now, looking at the volume, the volume has been gaining a lot more traction as well. Today's volume was 97 million. But if you take a look at the previous few days volume, the volume has been consistently about 100 million shares traded within the trading sessions. It started from uh, April 5th. Uh, it bumped up the volume six times from 51 million to 314 million. But the share, uh, sh the stock price uh, dipped pretty heavily because they diluted once again uh, their shares to raise more capital now that's one of the challenge that is going to be there for the shipping industry we have consistently seen for other stocks as well but since then the volume has been consistently about 100 million which is not helping the stock price though the stock price is dipping and it is getting back to the previous levels that we have seen in 2020 or maybe in january 2021 looking at the chart i want to share this chart with you as well looking at the chart the rsi looks pretty healthy to me it's 40 46, so it's not an overbought or not an oversold condition if you take a look at the red line right here and MACD looks pretty promising as well the blue is right around the orange which is the signal I want to share the one day RSI just to make sure uh, you have informed uh, decision on RSI and the technical pointers as well the one day RSI looks even better 40 that looks towards a bit more oversold side that can help the stock price to gain momentum tomorrow in the upward trajectory Looking at the MACD also looks pretty good. The blue is MACD line, which is right across or a little bit above. As you can see right here, at times it is above the signal, which is a pretty healthy sign. Looking at the five day chart, it, the RSI looks pretty even better. 38 RSI, it's more towards the oversold territory. I did not really see a huge spike into the short sell, sell volume that we normally see whenever there is an RSI goes to us towards oversold. But if you take a look right here, the stock dipped right here from this price point from 50 to about 47, uh, the same trading session, the same day, and then it started dipping. So there are the staircase, as you can see, the downward staircase that you can imagine. So the stock is struggling right now with the price point. The stock is struggling to regain the, uh, the compliance with NASDAQ. So do your own due diligence and research and analysis if you own the stock when you want to sell it. When I buy the stock, especially the penny stock, I look into what has more potential to double, triple, or quadruple in a short period of time because you're taking a lot of risk. It's risk versus reward play. Do not invest your entire portfolio in one penny stock. I would recommend investing only 5 to 7% of your total investment into penny stocks just to make sure that you're covered, your portfolio is diversified. And Castor Maritime is one of the speculative stock that can double up if the social media spike comes up once again that we have seen in the past. But so far, company has been raising capital. The stocks have been adding 
uh, into the mix for common uh, common shareholders and there is a stock delusion that is due to that the company and the stock price is suffering it is not really the business if they stop raising capital that means they're not adding more revenue into their uh, into their upcoming quarter and upcoming years and if they want to raise their capital if they want to raise the revenue they will have to raise the capital as well so that's one of the challenge that Castor Maritime has I just wanted to share this information with you hoping you can make informed financial decision click on the like button because I put a lot of efforts energy and time to build this video do this research and share this information with you so your like share and subscribe and your support is very much appreciated for the growth of this channel thanks all for watching I'll see you in the next video